Welcome to Corey's Garage. We are in my dirty old garage. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you fix peeling clear coat. Anybody who's got an older car with a two-stage paint job, which means base coat, clear coat, has probably experienced having some uh, peeling clear coat and some other issues. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done, how you can fix it the right way, but pretty easily at the same time. So you can see here, this is my uh, my basket case Saab 9.5 or 9.3-2005 convertible. That's not really a basket case anymore. It's actually starting to become a nice car. So it's time to make it a little bit nicer. You can see I've got peel and clear coat here and here and here. And so if you're going to go to like resell a car, that's just a bad sign. Like that just looks terrible. And I can fix it for like less than 50 bucks. So we should probably do that. Got it up here as well. And there's a little bit on the back too that I haven't decided I'm gonna fix. It's actually not peeling, but it's sort of faded right here. Maybe I'll scuff that down and, and spray a little bit of clear here while I'm already spraying clear. Haven't decided for sure yet. And then the back bumper has some pretty good chips in it. I should fix that. I don't know yet if I'm going to, but you will find out in this video. So let's get started. So for the very first step in this process, we're gonna clean everything that we're gonna be sanding with Windex. Works just fine for me, I've never had a problem with it. I was noticing that my whole car is covered in what looks like an overspray, and I'm really, really hoping that's just like pollen or something that's sitting there, because otherwise this job's gonna get kind of rough. I've hand washed it a couple times and I don't remember ever having any like tough grit on it. So we'll just give it a quick wipe down. Oh yeah, I can already tell that whatever that was, it's coming right off. Do the whole thing. So one thing I want to point out, there are stone chips and stuff all over this paint job. Um, it's an older car, 130,000 miles, there's going to be stone chips. My goal is not to fix all of those. My goal is to fix the peeling clear coat so it looks like it was never peeling. The stone chips, if I fix some of those along the way, great, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of this and be right back. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I can't just let things go. And I should, but I can't. So there was all those chips all over the bumper here, sanded those all out. Right here, there was like a nickel sized hole in the middle with like a chunk of something behind it. I couldn't figure out quite what was going on there until I started sanding it. And I was like, oh, I'll just feather that out, you know, a little bit. And then it turned out there was a lot of filler on this bumper. Somebody had already done like a half-ass repair. But the bodywork looked okay aside from that it didn't adhere to the bumper very well. So now I have this huge area here to fill in, which I'm going to fill in with fiberglass first. And then I'll put, you know, regular body filler on it. That will look good. This took longer to mask off than it took to do all the work. <laughs> so you can see I've got the uh, clear coat feathered back. And obviously I went into the paint everywhere, but that's because that's what it takes. This bottom lip, I decided was too beat up to leave alone. So that's all gonna get painted. Over on this side, there was a split right here so I fiberglassed it and filled it it's not perfect that would show up as body work but not nearly as bad as a split lip and then over here this is that spot I had to fill fiberglassed it and then put some light filler over it I can feel it's not perfect but that's totally okay 
all these chips I sanded out. There's still cracks in the paint here and there. But just keep in mind what the goal was here. It was to get rid of the uh, peel and clear coat. Sand it all up in here. I'm not trying to paint the car. I'm not trying to make it absolutely perfect. I'm trying to make it a lot more presentable. So I'm going to take some primer and I'm going to hit anywhere where I got down to like bare metal and just kind of clean stuff up a little bit and then we'll bring out the other paint. Here we have some real automotive base coat. It's the correct color code for the car, 278. It's uh, laser red. And what they do is they actually, at O'Reilly's, they inject the paint into an aerosol can so you can use a spray can to get real paint. I could have just bought some real paint for this, but I didn't really want to. Um, I don't need that much. I didn't want to deal with mixing it up. I'm just gonna hit it all with this paint just to blend it, then I'm gonna clear coat with a real automotive clear coat with a spray gun over that. And then we will wet sand that out, blend it all in. Should look good as new or close. Now with the first coat on, I'm not so sure how good this is going to look. This uh, paint is looking quite a bit brighter than the factory color, but I can see where it's starting to dry. It's kind of looking closer. So I'm going to give that a second. I'm going to put another coat or two on this, and then we'll put the clear coat on, see what it looks like then. Here it is, much, much improved. Looks so much better. I haven't done any of the uh, buffing and uh, blending yet. I probably should have just prepped the entire hood and cleared the whole hood, but I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble cutting that in and then buffing it all out, but we'll see. I was really trying to avoid, you know, going way too far. I, I only want to do a quick job, fix up the clear coat, and not basically end up repainting the whole car. Um, I did get some pretty good sized runs, like in the front bumper here. Uh, I was getting kind of late and I was really rushing by the time I got to that. But I also just got done spraying a truck with urethane paint and switching back and for forth from a urethane to clear coat and I'm out of practice. Or I was never that good to begin with. Car is filthy right now, it's just dusty and everything. See the black back bumper looks a whole lot better as well. And that also has to just be cut and buffed. And there's still imperfections, like there's some cracks in the bumper and stuff I left. Yeah, so it looks a whole lot better. So I didn't touch this, I decided to leave it. Um, all up here looks a whole lot better. Just gotta cut it in a little on the edges. And so that's what I got to do this afternoon is let's get this all wet sanded. I brought it outside because it's, I just assume uh, 
when you wet sand clear coat, it creates this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a, like a slurry and it can harden up on stuff. So it's much easier if you can like wash the car almost as you do it or immediately after. Uh, same thing when you buff, the buffing compound can really become like a permanent substance if you don't wash it off immediately. So we'll do all that outside. So we've got the camera here on an angle where you can really see kind of the line of where I was feathering the uh, clear coat in. Hopefully this is going to sand out. We'll see what happens. Um, in hindsight, it probably would have been a lot easier just to do the whole hood. But I know me, I get out of hand and the next thing you know, I'm painting the whole car. And I didn't want to do that. So we are going to start with some uh, 1500 on a, a polishing DA. And we're going to see if that cuts very well. I'm going to try not to have to do any of this by hand. We'll see how that goes. All right, we're going to try this. It's all 3,000 grit sanded. I can still see a faint line where I tried feathering it, but we're going to try this uh, foam cut. It's a fairly heavy cut or extra heavy cut. Now that is starting to look really good. We're gonna hit it again with another polish and see if we can get to look a little bit better. Now here we're gonna make a fairly big jump. We're gonna step it right up to the mirror glaze. There should be one more step in between these two, but I think it's gonna be good enough. We're not building a show car here. We're just trying to make it look okay. And so far, I'm pretty happy. If we can just get this to have a little bit more luster to it, then we are in business. Well, have a look. What do you think? I think I got it. I haven't cleaned up the uh, bumper and stuff yet. Like that all has to be 
cleaned up a little bit. Not as much work as the hood. But I think it looks pretty damn good. Probably going to give it a little bit more polish. But I'm pretty happy with that. I don't see that line. I think if you look just right in a certain sunlight, you might see some sort of shadow there. But I think it's fine. In hindsight, I probably would have just clear coated the whole hood. But it did come out just fine the way I did it. Remember that I've got spray paint up in here that I put on. And you can't tell where I did that. One thing you can see, I see it in the camera too, a bug walked across it right here as I was putting the clear coat on. I tried sanding that out. It didn't want to come out. I didn't want to mess with it. It is light years better than it was. So let's call this a video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Keep in mind what the car looked like before I started. Keep in mind what I was going for. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. See you in the next video.